today. We've come together uh, to hear from local families about the impact, impact of our Partnership for Hope. It's a new program that is providing earlier access to services from served families caring for loved ones with developmental disabilities. And, and just to, to set the stage before we have a, a discussion here, uh, the partnership is important really for two significant reasons. Uh, first and most importantly, earlier access to care and services helps individuals with developmental disabilities living at home. Uh, accessing therapy, care, uh, support service earlier can help slow or stop uh, the deterioration of disability and it helps families see that they do have the resources and support to keep their loved ones at home. Now second, home and community-based care also saves money. Uh, being a part of this program from the beginning on, it's helped us get the boys job training and it gets them where they're learning their independence. And you know, they right now they're doing, like Nathan is doing a part-time job, Mitchell is gonna be starting to do volunteer work. So it's getting them out in their community to learn how to be part of their community. The Partnership for Hope is eliminating the wait for hundreds of families across Missouri, connecting individuals with the care and services they need and keeping Missouri families together. Uh, the expenditure of, of about $200,000 and, and a significant grant process, which helped pave the way uh, for this Partnership for Hope, will pay for itself five-fold in one county in one year. Um, the program's truly a partnership between the Missouri Department of Mental Health, County Developmental Disability Boards, and the Federal Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services and our existing network of care providers. On October 1st, the department and county boards, like this one, began enrolling and developing treatment plans for 470 more individuals with developmental disabilities across our state. The partnership will cover up to $12,000 per individual to help cover a wide variety of services. Again, and this is the most important part, we'll be providing these services to families and in individuals before they reach a crisis point. Just make the boys realize that there is life after school. You know, at school they had a routine and stuff, and, and now the routine was sitting at home. Some they're, indi some they're independent. They're in word out here. Yeah. For them to be able to take care of themselves and, you know, independence is a big thing. Yeah. To help them achieve what they can achieve and this grant, it would make a world of difference for them.